Everybody, welcome back to my channel we're here with another video yes 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 another video how's everybody doing today today we're gonna be using all bomb nails products this first color we're using is insatiable from the um sprung v-day collection y'all this formula I can't rave about it enough. I love it. I've been using it in all of my Valentine's Day sets. It's just so amazing and buttery. I just can't get over it. I can't get over it all, everybody. I can't. So yeah, y'all, how have you been doing? Also, I'm going to be linking everything in the description below as to what I'm using. And also at the bottom of the screen, every time I use a new color, y'all. So yeah, yeah, it's been snowing here in New York. Um, it's not that cold out, but we did get about probably like nine to ten inches. Um, but I walked outside this morning and it wasn't even that cold, y'all. Did you see me almost bring that bead all the way down the nail? If the bead was just a little bit bigger, it would have came all the way down. I'm so proud of myself now. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't mind my crusty cuticles, y'all. I try to lotion and everything before I do nails. I lotion my hands, but I do wash my hands a lot. So my hands become very dry. Um, but I do lotion all the time. And I do lotion before I go on these videos. Because I don't want y'all to see crusty cuticles. But you know what? Some people just got crusty cuticles and I'm one of them. So if you don't like it, next. <laughs> anyway, y'all, these products i can't rave enough about these products they are so freaking bomb i can't wait to see what she has coming up as far as her next collection i'm sure it'll be maybe a spring collection or her, a summer collection i'm not sure yet don't mark my words on that but i can't wait to see um whoever she got these from as far as making them they are beautiful they oh my god i can't get over it y'all i can't get over it it's the best acrylic i've ever used Oh, I, I really, I just was so shocked, y'all. I was just so shocked. Um, so, yeah, as y'all know, me and Portia will be going live every single Friday. We're coming up with some plans for y'all. It's going to be great. Um, you know, I love my girl Portia. I can't wait to go live with her every Friday. Um, it's just amazing. It's always a good vibe. Um, yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be going, and we want y'all to leave us topics to talk about. Mostly, we want to talk about nail um stuff or the nail industry maybe some business stuff we don't know um we're still kind of talking about it it's still kind of in the works um but i'm so excited um to be doing this with her you know it's an honor for me to be able to work beside portia in anything that we do now and in the future um she's such a great person she's such a great educator as y'all know um i've been watching portia for a very long time a lot of the stuff i know today as far as nails is because of my girl Portia, she's kind of like my mentor in this. Um, she's helped me so much um, throughout these months on YouTube and just, just so much in general, just watching her videos and being educated by her. A lot of stuff you can learn from Portia just in her videos as far as pop-off method shaping. She gives you all the tea in every one of her videos. Now it's up to y'all to take that, watch it, and, you know, run with it. A lot of people can learn a lot from your girl Portia um, and whether you take the time to you know sit back and educate yourself based off of her videos that's on you um i know i'll always take the take the time to sit down and watch my girls videos um and learn from them because i am a beginner and y'all don't mind my application in this i was watching this video back and i'm like y'all it's a little it's a little rough um i'm still learning how to drag a bead down evenly um so if you notice um thank god for filing and shaping y'all because if you notice in this video some of my stuff can be a little uneven i'm still in the learning process again um i've been in this about a year but really only doing this like full time full time and really sitting down and practicing probably like four months five months um so yeah, we'll get better. You know, it's it's a learning process and it takes time. It is not easy. Acrylic is not easy. Also, for whoever thinks it is an easy thing to do, it's not. It like I said, it's a learning process. Um, and I'm in that learning process and, um, you know, just taking it one day at a time, trying to get better with every every uh, every um. Here I go, mini stroke. Blah, blah, blah. Um, no, just trying to get better with every time I do my nails. And as y'all can see, I have progressed a lot, 
a lot, a lot, a lot, and we'll just continue to progress. My advice to anybody out there getting into nails and doing nails, don't give up and don't get discouraged. Um, there was a lot of times where I was discouraged in it and was like, wow, you know, because I invested. When you're a beginner, a lot of beginners and a lot of people in this game will tell you when you're a beginner, don't invest in so much product. Don't do this. I didn't have that advice when I first started. So when I, in my first time investing into nails, I invested into everything. You know, they even tell you don't even get a drill until you get your application down. Hand file. Make sure you got your hand filing on point first. Um, but I didn't have any of that. So I just, I went hard and I bought, I'm not even lying to y'all. I think my first, my first couple purchases, equaled out to a thousand dollars like i got everything i got the lamp the drill all the acrylics and and it was hard for me in the beginning because <clears throat> not knowing about acrylics as a beginner you don't know what's good and what's not good so um yeah i started with some poopy acrylics and those were very hard to work with for me now that i know a little bit more about product and acrylics and what works for me um now I'm getting a little bit better because product, when you're using product, it does matter. I know I've heard people say um, you can either do nails or you can't. Um, it doesn't matter what product you're using. You kind of, but I don't believe that. I believe your product um, definitely helps in the process of doing nails, if you know what I'm saying. Because if you have really bad acrylic, that's going to matter for your application. I don't care who you are. You could be yin yang. You can be in this business 20 years. It's going to matter. Um, when I do, when I work with really good acrylics, I can tell the difference in my application versus working with really crappy acrylics. Um, and now I know which ones to use and which ones not to use. This here, these acrylics right here happen to be very, very good acrylics. Um, and a lot of people won't tell y'all like what's good and not good. I went into this very much alone, just, you know, uh, watching YouTube, learning off of Portia and her videos and other people's videos and, you know, just, just buying everything and then taking the time to sit down and learn it. You can really learn nails by watching, listening, um, and all of that. So that's what I did. Um, and yeah, and now we're here now I'm getting better. I'm not the best. I'll never claim to be the best. Um, I always tell y'all I'm a beginner. I'm very transparent about that. I feel like you have to be. Um, and I just want to give people hope that are starting this and, um, you know, don't give up. Just don't give up. Keep doing it. Keep working hard. Everything that you do in life, you have to put effort and hard work into. Um, and if you don't, if you can't go into something half-assing it, because if you have, if you have put work into something, you're going to get half you're going to get half of a result. You're not going to get the full result you want. So, you know, I went into this and YouTube, um, giving it my all and I'm seeing results from giving it my all being myself. Um, I want to take time to shout out to my girl, Gabby too, from bomb nails. She shout me out in her video. Um, I am her new brand ambassador. Um, I know a lot of y'all know that, but I just wanted to let y'all know. Um, and I'm so honored to be working with her and, um, you know, just using these amazing products because at the end of the day, her products are amazing and I stand by them. Um, and that's just a great product. So I'm very honored to be working with her. Um, I didn't know at first I was the new brand ambassador, but yeah, I'm so honored. This is my first ambassadorship um, and my first code. So I'm very excited about that. Um, things are happening. Um, things are happening people things are happening and i'm just so excited about my you know the future of this and what me and portia got going on i'm just really excited i'm not going to get into all the details because we don't even have all the details figured out yet um but when we get there we'll let y'all know and i think you're gonna like it you're gonna love it um me and portia vibe really well like i like i've say in all my videos like that's my girl i love her she's such a hard-working educated woman um, and she knows a lot and she tries to teach everybody what she knows. And the crazy part is a lot of people in this game don't try to give, they try to gatekeep and they don't try to give these, they don't drop these gems that she be dropping. And, um, I feel like I even tell her sometimes, like, don't even drop that. Like if people want to know that, you know, these are things people pay to know, um, pay to hear. And, and a lot of the time, like people don't even take the time out 
to watch her videos they'll just ask her a question and she has a whole video on it so you know you got to take the time out to educate yourself. Uh, we literally have artificial intelligence at the at our fingertips to learn and to look things up. And um, that's how I learned a lot too. you know, looking things up. Um, I'm a big believer in doing your own research, educating yourself on things. And she gives a lot of knowledge in her videos. So um Sorry, I'm just watching this application. <laughs> she gets a lot of knowledge in her videos. So watch her videos. If you're a beginner, you will get a lot, a lot, a lot of education from her videos. I promise y'all. Um, just watching her application, just watching how she does stuff. She even has a video on application um, and how she gets her perfect beads. Now, everybody's method doesn't work for everybody, but I can promise you that just watching it, getting the knowledge will help you so much with your application, your shaping. Um, if you want to know anything about pop-off methods, things like that, she has it all on her channel. So if you don't follow her, go follow Portia Nailed It. Um, she's bomb.com. She does bomb work. I love her. I love you, Portia. I love you, girl. So yeah. So moving on, we are doing an ombre here. Um, I, yo, I love these colors, y'all. I cannot say it enough. I love these colors. This is insatiable. Um, it's just such a beautiful color. Like, it's just this. I think you could use this as a cover color and uh, just a regular color. It's just such a beautiful, neutral, like, pinky, peachy. Um, it's just beautiful. All these colors were so beautiful. I had all the colors out on my table because I was thinking of a 100 different things as I was starting this set. Most of my sets are not pre-thought about unless I get an inspo from somewhere. Oh, y'all, this is the prettiest. This is called Daddy's Girl. This is on her website. You could check this out. Um, this is such a beautiful, it's got like bluish, purplish um, flakes in it. Just such a beautiful color. And when y'all put that top coat over it, it's just so amazing. Um... Yeah, so go check go check Bomb Nails out. I know I leave everything in the description below. Anytime I'm going to be using her products, um, which is going to be a lot this Valentine's um, season and beyond because these are not just Valentine's Day colors, uh, people. These can be used whenever. I love pink nails, purple nails. These, these are my colors. Like, when I do nails, these are the type of nails I love to do, like with pinks and purples and just pretty colors. Um, so yeah, so definitely go check her out. If you like this color, you can use my code page nails 15 page with one eye. I did link it in the video in the beginning and I will be linking it everything in the description for y'all. So if you're interested, um, but yeah, it's just such a pretty color. All of these, all of these acrylics are just so beautiful and they can be, like I said, they can be used whenever there's not a special time to ever use a pink, um, or anything else. So yeah, but, um, so yeah, so when I do nails, well, that's what I was talking about. Let me get a sip here. I'm getting a little, I'm getting a little dry, people. So y'all, so when I do a set, unless I'm getting an inspo from somebody, um, I kind of just wing my sets. I feel like I'm the best at just going off like, you know, my creativity at the time when I'm sitting there thinking of things. Um, I never ever, like if I think too hard into a set, um, it never comes out like the way I want it or the way I envision. So my best thing is just to sit down, get a color scheme and then go from there. Um, you always will see me with like one glitter nail or a glitter Frenchie, um, or something of that nature. I don't like to draw my Frenchies because I'm not, that's not my strong point at this moment. I need to start practicing on that. And that's one thing y'all, if you master something, move on to the next um and master something else there's always things to be learned in this field as far as nails like i'm still mastering my application so i don't think frenchies for me at this point are you know a big deal um i like to do the acrylic frenchies and then after i master my application and those type of things then i'll move on to hand painted frenchies um i like to take it one at a time um so i don't overwhelm myself i know i could get overwhelmed pretty easily so i don't like to try to overwhelm myself and y'all them frenchies be so overwhelming they be so overwhelming um, I'm trying to think of if anything has happened in the last week for me. That's been kind of funny. 
no, I've just been in the house, just chilling. Uh, me and Portia went live last Friday, um, or this Friday that just passed. My giveaway is going great, y'all. Thank you to everybody who entered. It will be ending Friday. I know some people asked me, but I did put it in the description. Reading is fundamental, people, and so is hearing. Um, so make sure you listen and you read. Um, so yeah, so it'll be ending Friday, and then um, sometime after that, I'll be picking, uh, doing put, putting the names in the system and doing the giveaway i wanted to do it kind of intimate um y'all know i don't have a lot of followers right now um so i don't have like to keep up with a lot of people i've been doing a good job i kind of got scared at first because i'm like damn did i do this um did i do this wrong because <laughs> you know at first it was like i had to go through the comments read everything pick put people's name on a um in my notes um, and then I kind of was getting overwhelmed and I'm like, wow, did I do this wrong? Should I just have done a generator? But I want it to be fair and I want it to be fair in a way because I've had people on my channel who have literally been here with me since the beginning. And I think if anybody deserves to win a giveaway, it's those people. They've been here with me since the beginning. They're always in my comments. They're always supporting me. And those are the people that I want to win my giveaway. Now, obviously in the future... If I do start coming across a lot of people, I'm going to have to do it, you know, the way Portia does it and make it fair for everybody. Well, it is fair for everybody. I put everybody's name in who entered, but I, the way I did it where you have to watch the video, I mean, I know some people could get a gander of what the questions were based on other people's answers, um, but you can kind of tell who those people are. They'll edit their thing multiple times. Um, but anyway, this is a fair giveaway. It's not not fair, but I wanted y'all to watch the video, get the questions out of the video. And I know my true supporters who watch my videos will go watch my video and get those questions. So that's, that's how I wanted it to be fair. I don't want it to go to somebody who just started following, who, who looked up YouTube giveaways and, you know, just came out of nowhere. Um, I want it to be fair to my subscribers that have been, have been in this with me since the beginning. And that's just how I felt about it. Um, so yeah, so that's where we're at with that. Um, we're going to watch these nails y'all right now. I'm ombre with one and only, this is such a pretty color. Now y'all don't mind my application. Okay. I don't, sometimes I have really good application. Like I said, I'm a beginner. When you're a beginner, sometimes you're going to have really good application, right? Flawless. And then sometimes it's going to be a little janky and that's okay. This is a learning process that I'm showing y'all. You know, this is intimate. This is, I'm showing y'all my imperfections. Um, I don't come on here and I'm not perfect every single time. Um, so this is showing y'all my imperfections as a person. I'm not the best yet. I'm working on my craft. I'm working hard at it every single day. This is a dedication for me. I love making videos for y'all. Sitting down doing my nails is literally my peace, my serenity, <clears throat> And it's some sorry, <laughs> it's something I enjoy doing. So y'all are like I said, y'all are on this journey with me, and I thank each and every one of you for that. I love y'all. I am so happy that y'all are here with me because I've got some girls that are just so bomb. This little community that we have built, me and Portia, um, have built, and we have all these amazing supporters. Um, it's just amazing to see y'all always down in the comments, always blessing us, always telling us how beautiful our nails are. Um, it's just amazing and thank y'all. So we're just going to watch these nails and then after this, we're going to get to capping and I'll be back y'all. I'll be back.
Hey y'all, I'm back. So now we're gonna get to capping these nails. You know, you I love the cap. Capping is one of my favorite things. Um, I don't know, it's just so satisfying. Um, it's satisfying to watch and it's satisfying to do. Y'all, don't be like me. I always try to do this. Um, it's something Portia actually taught me. When you're capping your nails, um, obviously when you get to capping, the nail, the acrylic on the nail dries. So when you're capping, try to wet your nail with some monomer first. Um before you put the clear acrylic on because it'll help it polymerize on the nail as well um it'll just help it slide down a lot easier um if you notice on some of these i did not do that and you'll see how dry it is like at the bottom of the nail um eventually it'll get wet because i'll be you know uh you know wiping the nail with the brush but it does help when you wet the nail prior to applying the clear acrylic it just helps it just glide down the nail easier you won't have those like missing spots and yeah so let's get to capping so how's y'all uh weekend how was y'all weekend i can't wait till friday already i know it's only tuesday but i cannot wait till friday um i love chilling with y'all i love chilling with portia like it's such an amazing time we have so much fun last week was so funny i watched this video back because we always watch our videos back um because a lot of the times when you're on live you don't catch uh what every each person's saying like i'll go back through and watch our video and i'll miss like half of what portia said like uh little comments or things she's saying to the audience and and vice versa so we like to go back watch it and y'all this <laughs> this was so funny um when you're in the moment, you don't realize how funny some things are. But yeah, some things are funny. And etiquette, y'all. Y'all need to watch my video on etiquette, man. Etiquette. Etiquette. Page etiquette. When you come into... um, When you come into a creator's live, uh, not even a creator's live or their premieres, and you don't even say hi to the creator before you start talking about your page, that is just so rude. Um, there's so many girls on there who are in those premieres every day who have YouTube channels that never once shout themselves out. Um, and that's because of respect and love that we have for the creator. We would just never do that. That's just overstepping your boundaries. Um, and it be the people who don't even have videos on their page. That's the crazy part. It's the people who have not even created any content yet. Um, and it just boggles my mind. And, um, if you're somebody I love and care about dearly, it makes me angry because who are you? Like, where, are you here to support or are you here to advertise your page? Um, and I think those type of people should get blocked, but my girl, she's just, you know, she's a forgiving, lovely soul. And, uh, you know, you, she gives second chances. Me, uh, I give second chances too, but it just irks me because, you know, I, I, it's just, it's just not necessary. Y'all need page etiquette. Um, and then like lives when, you know, we support certain brands. Um, Portia is a big supporter of Nail House. She has a Nail House code so y'all could go shop. I, um, a brand ambassador for Bomb Nails and I have a code so y'all could go shop so y'all could go save coins. So when we're in lives, to shout other products or brands out. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just like, maybe I'm nuts, but <laughs> no, I don't think I am. Um, you know, it's just not, I think in the, one of the lives, somebody said, for instance, um, oh, this person has a monomer. Uh, it was like right after Portia had said something about nail house, having a monomer where you can get actual money off of the brand because she has a code, which, and the monomer is good. Nail house is a very good brand. Um, I know like myself and Portia, we don't support brands that aren't good brands. Um, so we would never steer you wrong. We're not these type of people who have codes with people or use brands and just shout brands out because we have codes with people. Um, no, Nail House is a very good brand. I stand by Nail House. So does Portia. I have some of their stuff. Um, they're actually a very good popular brand. Um, so, you know just page etiquette we have to learn how to do that because um you know it avoids conflict it avoids weird things and it avoids people getting mad because i know myself I, I it just doesn't make me happy when people do that so maybe we need a whole oh uh, maybe we need a live on page etiquette <laughs> no for real because people be bugging um but yeah we're capping these nails 
After we're gonna do a little bit of filing, you know, the cuticleization and the in the uh, nailulations. I love cuticle filing. Um, I get real close. I'm starting to get better at videos. Um, I still got a lot of work to do um, as far as videos and content and just certain things like that. Um, but I'm getting better and better. I like to have a close up view. Even a lot of the times on live, I'd be zoomed out. Um, so I try to give you all the best content I can. Again, y'all bear with me. Like I said, I'm a beginner at all of this. One day, everything is takes time um, and effort and practice. So I'm in the beginning stages of that. Y'all see how the front of that is a little dry um, and it looks like it needs some product. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So when you're capping your nails, make sure you wet the nail with some monomer before you put that clear bead on. Yeah, look at the tip of the nail. You see how it's like dry and it doesn't have no product there. You can avoid that just by wetting the nail before applying your clear uh, or any type of monomer. Even when you're ombre you know, when you go put the one color down on all five nails, you come back, the acrylic's pretty much dry. And if you just wet it just a little bit, it helps so much with application, I promise y'all. Um, yeah, so again, my giveaway will be closing Friday and then sometime after that, I'll be picking a winner. Um, I love y'all. Thank y'all for entering. Thank y'all for supporting me. Um, the support is so amazing. Again, I can't tell y'all how much I love y'all and I appreciate y'all. Y'all are the bomb.com y'all. And I can't wait for this giveaway winner. Um, I can't wait to bless somebody. Um, and y'all know it's a blessing. These giveaways are blessings to some people. So I just can't wait for that. Um, yeah, so look, we're looking forward to that. Thank y'all for all the, like I said again, I can't thank y'all enough for the support and love. I wish I had a funny story to tell you today, but my life hasn't been that exciting um, this past week. Um, so yeah. Thank y'all for coming. I hope y'all enjoyed the rest of the video. Also, at the end of this, I use the Bomb Nails Diamond Top Coat, which is bomb.com. I love it. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. It's just perfect. Um, and I will be using the Bomb Nails Cuticle Oil to get these little crusty cuticles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I read a comment. You called my... Somebody said... <laughs> oh, my God. I forgot who it was. Somebody was like, do you ever... Put cuticle oil on the other hand and no i don't but i do lotion my hands a lot and i am a huge um hand washer so i apologize for my dry hand y'all i apologize don't come at me don't come at my dry cuticles um thank y'all have a great day night wherever you are i love y'all see y'all on see y'all on the flip side on the next video y'all love y'all <laughs>